Renda Center is primarily in the rent-to-own business, and we are doing this uh, across 3,000 retail stores throughout the country. Uh, Renda Center has a large mix of legacy applications and a few modern apps. These apps range anywhere from a point of sale solution to our logistics uh, solution on the back end, and we are in the process of just launching our e-commerce solution, which is basically pulling all these together, and we have launched that with SAP Hybris, and as a part of that solution running on AWS Cloud, we've decided to use Docker as the platform of choice there. Security is a big uh, concern for us. Uh, we have a lot of compliance, uh, given we're in the retail sector. When we looked at Docker, the immutable option that it gives us uh, was a big factor, and also that the fact that containers don't stay along forever, right? Containers are destroyed, recreated, so even if there's issues, they're very easily recreated, and we come back to a clean state. So with all those three factors, uh, it has definitely been a big success uh, to delivering our e-commerce solution on time, and under budget, so uh, Docker uh, has been a very important factor for us. There were a couple of reasons why we brought in Docker to begin with. Um, one of the big ones was actually portability. So we have multiple cloud solutions that we utilize as well as a, a large on-premise virtualization infrastructure. And Docker gives us the capability to package our apps in a way that we've never done before and be able to deploy that across whatever solution really we deem necessary at the time. We have um, Docker deployed all the way from dev through production. So with that, I think we have probably a total of about 20 to 25 different nodes that are Docker. Containers and VMs uh, go together in our eyes. Uh, one does not replace the other. So we have a big uh, VMware push or virtualization push. Um, containers will simply ride on top of that, more effectively use the resources there, uh, standard practices from that point. We've had issues in the past as far as multiple environments and the common mechanism of saying, hey, the product, it works in my laptop and not production. How do we solve that? That's, that's another big reason why we brought in Docker to, to resolve that so we can spend more time actually getting our application out the door and less time troubleshooting infrastructure issues.